Whilst I am heartbroken that summer is finally over, I'm not too mad because autumn is actually my favourite time of year to read. You know, it's a time to get cosy, stay inside and just read until my heart's content. Earlier this year I made videos about perfect books to read in spring and summer, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen them, and I thought to carry on the trend and give you some perfect books for autumn slash fall if you're American. So join me as I tell you about seven perfect books to read for this upcoming season. And if you haven't seen me before, hi, welcome to the channel, I'm Katerina, it is lovely to see you here. If you're into videos about girls yapping about books, why do you consider subscribing? Because that's literally what my channel is about. And that being said, let's get into the video. So the very first book on my list is actually one of my favourite books of all time, so I just had to include it in the list, and that's The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This novel is a deeply complex psychological thriller that follows a group of students at a small but elite liberal arts college. And the story is narrated by a boy who becomes included in this exclusive group, all of whom are studying Asian Greek. And at the very start of the book we find out that one of their friends has just been murdered, and we essentially follow the twisted and chilling series of events that led to this person's death and also the chaotic aftermath. This book has so many themes, but just to name a few, we have morality, classic beauty, intellectualism, and much more. I love this book and I will literally recommend it to anyone at any given opportunity. But I also think it is just the perfect book for this time of year because it is the literal embodiment of dark academia. And I will die on the hill that this book literally birthed the whole dark academia aesthetic. And to me, nothing screams autumn more than the whole notion of going back to school and returning to your studies. Not only is the book set in a New England college during autumn, which makes it like the perfect backdrop, but the author just has this amazing ability that I haven't really seen before in other books to just write the most amazing and beautiful and immersive descriptions. It feels like you're actually there in the book itself, experiencing this whole atmosphere and literally feeling all the details of the season and also the studies. And the prose as a whole just feels very moody and heavy, whilst also being very introspective and intimate. Plus the fact that this book includes a murder just kind of makes it like the most chilling setting for like the spooky season of Halloween that's coming up. But all in all, I think you get the gist. I love this book and I really think that you should read it too, especially for this upcoming season. Carrying on with the Dark Academia theme, the next book on my list is Babel by R. F. Quang. This is a historical fantasy novel, which again follows a small group of elite students. However, here they're all studying at Oxford's Royal Institute of Translation, otherwise known as Babel. The story is narrated by one of the students in this group and we follow him through a series of events. And it essentially tells the story of how England has kept its colonial powers to uphold the problematic British Empire. The book again has heavy themes but these ones are slightly different, more relating to power and colonialism but also resistance and rebellion. Again, the book's atmospheric setting just makes it perfect to read for this time of year. It's set in the gorgeous city of Oxford during the autumn months, which to be honest is just chef's kiss. But I also enjoyed the narratives here of identity and belonging because I believe that the main character is actually Chinese and he was brought over to the UK when he was young by his guardian slash professor. So he's constantly having to think about his place in the world and essentially where he fits in. Especially when he goes to university, he moves to a new city where he's meeting new people and trying to establish himself. Which to me is very reminiscent of going to school and university where you're new and you're just trying to fit in. And it just has this overall more contemplative and heavier mood, which I just think is really nice to read in autumn. Plus, I also just really like the aspects of languages and translation here as someone who knows a little bit of Spanish and Arabic. It's really interesting to see how different languages cross over and why that is. And I honestly think that if you know a little bit of a second language that you'll find it super interesting as well. And I also read this book during autumn last year and I found it just the most incredible time to read this book. So I would also recommend you two to read it then. Okay, moving away from Dark Academy, but keeping with the theme of slight fantasy, the third book on my list is Piranesi by Susanna Clarke. This is a mysterious yet beautiful fantasy novel that follows a man living in solitude in what is essentially a labyrinth. He doesn't remember his life before then and why he's there, but every day he documents his life and his discoveries within this place of endless marble halls and various statues. However, throughout the novel, many mystical events occur as the main character begins to discover more of this place as well as remembering his past. The novel has themes of isolation, memory, and the search for knowledge in a warped reality. I'm adding this book to the list because I feel as though the themes of solitude and discovery are very much resonant with the season of autumn. For me especially, as the social 
social activities and just going out every day in summer begin to come to an end. I very much like to spend more time with myself and just reflect, especially on like the past year as things are coming to a close. And I feel as though this book very much encapsulates this feeling of reflection and also trying to find yourself. I also just thought this was a very unique book in terms of plot. Like reading it, I kind of felt like I was stuck in a dream. There's so many bizarre things that are happening that don't really make sense, but there's also aspects of like a familiar reality there. And the mystery in this book is so gripping. Like I really do think that the author did a great job of creating this suspense and intrigue. And overall, I just think it had a very poetic prose and unintended life lessons that I really enjoyed. I just think that this book is perfect for curling up with and losing yourself in, which I just think is the perfect autumn book. For my fourth book on my list, which I definitely think you should read this autumn, is The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. This is a historical novel set in World War II and it's a super interesting book because it's actually narrated by death. And he tells the story about a young girl living in Nazi Germany. And at the start of the story, she's sent to live in a small town with her foster parents. And while she's there, she discovers her love for reading books and the transformative power of literature, which I'm sure if you're here watching me right now, you can heavily relate to. But anyway, as this title suggests, she begins stealing books for her neighbours during these bomb raids, including stealing them for a Jewish man that lives in their basement. This novel has some pretty heavy themes of war and loss, but also of resilience and the influence of books. I actually think I read this book like 10 years ago, but I really want to read it again because I forgot how much I enjoyed it. It's an interesting story because it's just filled with so many opposites, like joy and tragedy and hope and adversity. And it's just one of those stories that essentially capture the resilience of the human spirit, which I absolutely adore. And usually I'm quite skeptical about books that talk about how great books are because I usually find them a little bit cringe. But this one wasn't cringe. I remember thinking that it was very well written and the way that it talks about books was more out of a sort of respect and admiration. And it honestly just reminded me of being young and discovering how great books can honestly change your life. And I'm such a sucker for books with a really interesting narrator and having death as the lead voice here, I just think is so cool. Like, oh my God, sign me up for more. And I do remember reading this book and thinking the first chapter was one of the best opening chapters chapters that I have ever read. So yeah, definitely recommend this book. It is quite sad, but it goes hand in hand with my seasonal depression. So I'm recommending it for that reason. <laughs> However, if you're not a sad book girly like me, don't worry, I have you covered because the next one on my list is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. From the Lord of the Rings Middle Earth universe, this is an enchanting fantasy novel that basically follows the adventure of a hobbit, where the wizard Gandalf gives him a quest to help the dwarves reclaim their homeland from a dragon. This novel is just a fun story that's rich in themes of bravery, friendship, and the journey of a hero. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always more partial to fantasy novels during this time of year. Maybe it's because cause Halloween and Christmas is around the corner but I just honestly love the adventure and fantasy that comes with autumn and this is such a wholesome and easy book to get into the fantasy of genre as I believe it's actually a kid's book but don't let that put you off from reading it I was actually 22 when I read it for the first time and I absolutely loved it it's just so beautifully whimsical and the world building is really easy and fun to get into which I think is sometimes a problem with other fantasy books where it's really hard to understand the world building and what all the names mean for everything whereas like I feel like this book doesn't have that problem. And to be honest, I love the worldly setting of Middle Earth here with all the dwarves and elves and the Shire. It's just pure escapism in the best way because it has fun adventure, witty characters, and overall just a happy ending. It's a lovely book that's both charming and memorable and one that I think is perfect to start the season with. I'm going to carry on with wholesome books because I know I usually have a tendency to swing towards the heavy. So my next book is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. It's not a list made by me unless I stick something written in the 18 hundreds in there. <laughs> but anyway, this book is a heartwarming, timeless, coming of age classic novel that follows four sisters during the Civil War. And we follow these girls in their journey from childhood to womanhood, and we witness how their dreams and fears evolve and change during this time. The novel is thick with themes of femininity, family, friendship, and just the pursuit of personal ambitions. Maybe because the recent film adaptation of this book came out during like the coldest season, I just associate this book and film with autumn but I also do think it's because the story very much emphasizes the importance of home and family which is a time during the colder months that you just end up spending a lot more time with you stay home more you're with your family more but I also feel like this is a wholesome book that's filled with that coziness that comes during this time of year because it just feels like one big sisterly hug it's also a novel very heavy on character development as we follow these girls change over a period of time and I don't know maybe because the school year starts in September but this was always a time of year that I always like reflected on myself and almost past versions of
of myself in different years. So this book where you reflect on how these girls change over time just feels very appropriate and right to read during this time of year. If you enjoyed the film of this or you just want a charming classic that's filled with sisterhood, I would definitely recommend this book to you to read. And finally, the last book on my list, which I think is perfect for you to read this autumn, is Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. This is a fictional novel set in 1960s Tokyo and we follow the life of a college student. And trigger warning, at the very start of the novel we find out that he's deeply affected by the recent suicide of his best friend. And as a result, he therefore forms a close but complex relationship with his deceased friend's girlfriend. And throughout the novel, we follow this main character navigate his feelings with love, but also with loneliness, all within the backdrop of a rapidly changing Japan. Prominent themes include memory, loss, and the complexities of human relationships. Whilst I am an introvert, and I do sometimes enjoy the slower pace of life that comes with autumn, I do feel like it's often overlooked how loneliness can be quite prevalent during this time of year with less social things going on. And one of the main themes in this book is loneliness and how that can affect many different aspects in your life. This novel is also just very deeply introspective and just has a lot of emotional depth on a lot of aspects in life. And I did find myself contemplating this book a lot whilst reading it because it does have quite a bizarre plot, but I won't spoil it for you because I feel like the less you know about it going into it, the better. But we follow this boy essentially turn into a man and learning how to navigate these newfound struggles that come with being a young adult. However, I will put out there that I do have mixed feelings on this book, so I would take it with a pinch of salt. It's very beautifully written and very lyrical. However, I do often find that the author's depiction of women is a little bit weird. You'll know what I mean if you've read his books, but he talks about women as if he's never spoke to a woman in his life. It's very manic pixie dream girl, if you know what I mean. But hey, maybe that's straight men writing about women in the 80s for you. But all in all, I still thought it was a really good book and I enjoyed the introspective aspects of it. And I do think that autumn is the perfect time to read this book. But that being said, those are all seven books that I think are perfect to read during the upcoming season of autumn. Have you read any of these books? If so, what did you think of them? And if you haven't read these books, what books would you say are perfect to read during autumn? My TBR list is currently extremely long because I have so many books that I actually want to read specifically for autumn in the next coming months. So keep your eyes peeled for my monthly reading wrap ups on them. But that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like down below. It really helps my channel out and more people can see me yap about books. And if you're new here, why do you consider subscribing? I make new videos every single Tuesday. Feel free to also follow me on my Instagram. I post a lot more personal stuff on there but I also post my books as soon as I finish reading them. That way you can know what they're about and also what I've rated them out of 10. I also have a good read so feel free to follow me on there too. I'm currently posting all the reviews of every single book I've ever read so yeah there's going to be quite a lot coming up. And once again thank you so much for being here and watching me chat. I always get such lovely comments from you guys saying how much you enjoy my content and it just really makes my day. So yeah thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!